Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Okay, we have 2x squared to be equal to 2x. Now you may be thinking that this is impossible, right? But it is very possible. Now 2x squared here means that you're having 2 squared, okay, and then x squared. This is what it means, and it's equal to 2x. This means that the, both of them are having the power of 2. Now this is the same thing as 4x squared, which is equal to 2x. And now you're going to be wrong if you cancel out the x. Cancel um, this x and one of these is going to be wrong, right? So what you will do is to bring everything to the same side. So you have 4x squared minus 2x which will be equal to zero now do you think this is now a quadratic equation yes this is now a quadratic equation because of this power of two the only thing missing is the constant and that will not um, prevent it from being a quadratic equation by the way there are three things that make an equation to be quadratic one of them is the highest power of two which is here and the other one is the unknown, which is here. And the third one is the equal sign, and it's here. So the three of them are here. So this is a quadratic equation. And we can solve this by using factorization method. Okay. Now, by that factorization, let's continue. We have two here, and two can be found here. There is x, and there is x. Pick out your x. Then here... 2x into 4x squared will give us 2x. If you multiply this, you will have your 4x squared back. Then minus 2x into 2x will give us 1. And this will be equal to 0, right? Okay, so from here, we apply 0 product rule. Meaning that 2x is equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And then if 2x is equal to 0, we can divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. This cancels this, and our x from here is 0 over 2. 0 over 2 is the same as 2, right? Okay, now if we continue from here, what we will do first is to take 2x to the left. I mean, take um, make 2x the subject, meaning that 2x will be equal to 0 plus 1. And then 2x is equal to 1. We can divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. This cancels this and our x is now equal to 1 over 2. Now let me bring the two values of x together. We have x1 to be equal to 0 and x2 to be equal to 1 over 2. Now let's confirm our result. The original equation is 2x squared equals 2x right now if i put in the first value for x i'm going to have 2 times 0 and the whole of this will be squared will this be equal to 2 times 0 let me circle this because it may not be equal 2 times 0 will give 0 so we have 0 squared which will be equal to 0 as a matter of fact, 0 times 0 is 0. So this means that x to be equal to 0 satisfies the equation. Now let me work with x to be equal to 1 over 2. I'm going to have, um, remember the original equation still remains 2x squared equals 2x, right? Now our x is um, 1 over 2. So we have 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. Both of these will be squared, and then it is now equal to 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 for x. This is what we have now. Now, this is going to be, this will cancel this, and we have 1 squared. This is definitely equal to 2 will cancel this, and we also have 1. Okay, 1 squared is 1, which is 1 on the right as well, meaning that x, okay, x to be equal to 1 over 2, also satisfies the original equation thank you for watching if you love this please subscribe to my youtube channel for more of this thank you